Anambra State Governor Saludo leads delegation to Rome as Pope Francis greets Cardinal Obaleke. 43 newly promoted immigration officers in Anambra State Command decorated. INEC fixes September 28 for commencement of campaign for 2023 general elections. Death toll in Pakistan flood increases to over 1,000. Good morning and welcome to the news. Apologies for beginning a bit behind schedule. My name is Nonye Mokoye. Now before the news in details, there is a special message. Governor Chukoma Saludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra state economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. Governor Chuko Masoludo has led Anambra delegation to Rome as Pope Francis created Peter Cardinal Obaleke and 19 other cardinals. The governor said that it is not a surprise that the creation of Anambra State, which clocked 31 years on Saturday, coincided with the creation of a new cardinal, Peter Obaleke by Pope Francis, who is the head of the Catholic Church and sovereign of the Vatican City State since 2013. Speaking from St. Peter's Square, Vatican City, Rome, on the two anniversary celebrations, Governor Saludo felicitated with Peter Cardinal Obaleke, one of the two newly created from Africa. According to the governor, it is a special day worthy of celebration and lifted the state to God for his interventions as it continuously marches towards a livable and prosperous homeland. A government house correspondent, G.K. Abana, reports that among the Anambra contingent were the governor's wife, Mrs. Nonya Soludo, chief of staff of the, to the governor, Mrs. Ernest Eza Joey, among others. Officers of the Nigerian Immigration Service have been charged to shun corrupt practices in the discharge of their duties. The Zonal Coordinator of Zone G, Mr. Dominic Asogwa, gave the charge during the decoration of newly promoted officers in Anambra State Command of the Service in Oka. Our correspondent, Onyine Agobeze, completes the story. In his address, Mr. Asogwa, who congratulated and charged them to be dutiful and not to take the new position for granted, advised them to treat visitors with respect, to avoid corrupt practices, and to be disciplined in carrying out their duties. The so you have to be reasonable in what you're doing in your relationship with others. It's very, very important. Please. The Comptroller, Nigeria Immigration Service, Anambra State Command, Mrs. Ngozi Odipo, while welcoming the 43 newly promoted officers, urged them to uphold the service ethics and not to relent in their individual and collective efforts to secure Nigeria's borders. To whom much is given, much is expected. So as you assume higher responsibilities of your new ranks, you are enjoined to uphold the tenets of service, which are marked by hard work, discipline, professionalism, efficient service delivery, etc. Filled with joy, some of the newly promoted officers, including Assistant Comptroller Ephraim Abo and Assistant Superintendent Jeremiah Megwalu, thanked God and their leaders for allowing them to achieve the new it, assuring that they would carry out their responsibilities effectively. Uh, my promise to the office and the public is to be devoted to my job and uh, give up my possible best in honor of the uh, to move the, the job forward to the next level. Decoration of the newly promoted officers, parade by the officers, and the inspection of quarter guards featured at the events. In Oka, I am Oninye Agubeze reporting for ABS News. The Rotary Club of Oka Central has awarded the managing director of Anambra Broadcasting Service, ABS, Sachido Obidego, with Vocational Service Award alongside other philanthropists for their selfless services and contributions to the society. The awards were received in Oka during the installation of Rotarian Modeling Onoha, as the ninth and second female president of the club. 
Our correspondent Emmanuel Chibata reports. The International Award, the Personal Service Award, presented to the Chief Chido Obidim in recognition of your outstanding contribution to the growth and development of your vocation. Dated today, 27th of August, 2022. Congratulations, Congratulations. Prominent among those who received Community and Humanitarian Services Award include the former Commissioner for Works, Engineer Marcel Ifejofo, former Permanent Secretary in Anambra State Civil Service, Barrister Emeka Uhuaha, a business mogul, Mr. Matthew Nanyelugo, and an industrialist, Chief Edmond Wankwo. When I look at what is happening now and what happened when we during our old days, it's total not encouraging. Because the boys of these days, especially our people, nobody is ready to serve. Because of all this Ulmili call of a team, Yahoo, Yahoo, none of the younger are ready to bend down to learn so that they can be helped. Because this uh, uh, boy, boyship apprentice, we hear Andy Wuji and Yellow and Wai and Yaka. To be elected president of the best Rotary Club in the district, 9142 Rotary Club of Akasur. I'm elected and feel the joy to have been chosen among the many industrialists and captains of industries in Akasur. I shall rely on your friendly advice, constructive criticisms, and God's way to see me and our club through this Rotary year in service to humanity. In his valedictory speech, the immediate past president, Rotarian Michael Iruka, said that he achieved a lot within one year as president and called on the club members to extend the same hands of fellowship to the new president as the chairman on the occasion and the immediate past head of service, Anambra State, Barrister Harry Udo, affirmed that if the entire country would adopt the four-way tests and principles of Rotary, the society would be positively transformed. Cutting of the installation cake and musical performance featured at the event. Emmanuel Shibata for ABS News. Congratulations to all the awardees, especially the managing director of the Anambra Broadcasting Service, OKA. Now, now, as part of efforts to ensure all round participation in the monthly sanitation exercise, the OB of Onicha, Igwe Nemeka Achebe, flagged off the August edition of the sanitation exercise, which just ended on Saturday. The event which took place at Onicha attracted members of the National Youth Council of Nigeria, National Youth Service Corps, the Transition Committee Chairman for Onicha North and South local government areas, industrialists, traders, residents, as well as stakeholders in the community. Our correspondent, Chibuzo Obidike, fight the story. Flagging of the sanitation exercise, Igwe Achebe thanked the state government for the commitment and priority placed on the environment, promising that he will mobilize the residents of the commercial city to key into the lofty vision of the government. Igwe Achebe represented by Chief Sam Chidebelo, while breaking the Kula knot, prayed for good health for the state citizenry, underscoring that it is only achievable through maintaining proper hygiene and asked that all should participate so as not to be penalized. <laughs> is with a cop and we, we are grateful both to the governor who has initiated this very good program and uh, those of you who are around to support this very noble idea to make our nature clean our nature and its environs 
for the Commissioner for Environment, Engineer Felix Odimeogu, more emphasis should be placed on evacuating drainages, especially in markets, residential areas, and taxed the Transition Committee Chairman of the area to drive the move, which has primarily been kicked off by Governor Chuku Masoludo in Oka, showing the priority the state government places on environment. He noted that going forward, the ministry will monitor all local government areas to ensure compliance in all communities. Men and the councillors, please lead this charge with our former team to make sure that we're that setback. Then we're free flow of traffic. Then we're free flow of water. Rain water, flood water across the drainage system. It's very, very important. Speaking, the chairman, Anambra State Waste Management Agency, Aswama Board, Dr. Ema Ezenwaji, said that the flag off in Onicha is important as the town is known for its great impact both in industrialization, trade and commerce, and revealed that the team of Aswama has commenced inauguration of Aswama Tax Force to ensure attitudinal change among the people, especially the disbanding of open refuse disposal at all parts of the states and commended the people of Onicha for their immediate support and assistance. The managing director of Aswama, Mr. Mike Ozemena, said that since the kick-off of the exercise by the governor, the agency has inaugurated waste management officers in all local government areas and asked the committees to establish good working relationship with waste management contractors to ensure regular evacuation of refuse that have necessitated the house-to-house -house pickup of waste. Cleanliness is important. So what are we telling our people? Let's together join hands together and clean our states and make it livable. Because it cannot be prosperous if it's not livable. We are going to work with Mr. Governor, Professor Charles Sukoma Saludo. Responding, the Transition Committee Chairman for Nature North, Mr. Onochie Ozoma, assured that the council area had before now mapped out different areas to intensify the drive, promising that Onicha will raise the bar in cleanliness as well involve everyone in the process. From Onicha, Chibuzo Bidiki, ABS News. The Transition Committee Chairman, Dunuko Fair Local Government Area, Mr. Augustine Onyemobi, has called on the people of Dunukovia to keep their environment clean as environmental cleanliness and personal hygiene are the key to healthy living. Mr. Onyemobi made the call when he participated in this month's sanitation exercise on Saturday at Afigwe Market, Umudioka, with the traders. Correspondent Chukwemeka Modelem filed this report. Local government chairman observed that traders complied with the monthly sanitation exercise as directed by Governor Chuku Masoludo to guarantee a peaceful, prosperous, livable mega city. The intention of Mr. Governor is that we establish a clean, livable, and prosperous homeland. And it is in a clean environment that investment and prosperity comes in. On his part, the chairman of Afigwe Market, Mr. Dennis Okosa, expressed appreciation to Mr. Onyemobi for taking the lead in environmental cleanliness within the local government area, assuring that they will always comply with the monthly sanitation exercise to safeguard their health and ensure the realization of Governor Soludo's vision. ABS observed that the traders closed their shops and participated in the exercise while commercial bus drivers who defied the sanitation law were flagged down by enforcement team of Dunukofia local government and forced to participate in the sanitation exercise. At Ifitedunu Junction, traders around the area complied as they locked their shops, swept their surroundings, and cleaned the drainages in front of their shops. The story was the same at Afo Ukulu. In an interview, the head of Environment and Sanitation Department, Dunukofia Local Government Area, Lady Ifoma Okungwo, who sensitized the people on the essence of keeping their surroundings clean, urged them to desist from dumping refuse inside drainages and keep them at designated places to be catered away by appropriate authorities. The essence of sanitation exercise is to keep our surroundings, our environment clean. We pack our refuse, go and dump them at the appropriate place. 
it will help to reduce diseases. If our environment is clean, you have a, a, a lot of illness. You see, cleanliness is next to godliness. The sanitation exercise was enforced by the combined team of Operation Clean and Healthy Anambra Dunukofia Environmental Health Officers and Law Enforcement Agents. Chukwe Meka Mordelem, ABS News. And now from Abuja, exactly one month to the commencement of the campaign for the presidential and national assembly elections, the Independent National Electoral Commission has warned political parties and candidates against the use of mass curators, public facilities and religious centers for campaigns. The Commission asked pol political parties to align strictly with the provisions of the Electoral Act to avoid sanctions as stipulated by the Act. INEC had fixed September 28 for the commencement of the campaigns for the Presidential and National Assembly, while the elections will hold on Friday 25th, 2023. Relying on Section 92 of the Electoral Act 2022, INEC National Commissioner and Chairman of its Committee on Information and Voter Education, Mr. Festus Okoye, in a recent interview, explained that the law expected political campaigns to be civil and devoid of abuse. On the foreign scene, Pakistan is appealing for further international assistance as floods devastate the country, leaving people searching for higher, drier grounds. The death toll from the monsoon rains has reached 1,033, with 119 killed in the previous 24 hours. The National Disaster Management Authority says officials say the U.S., U.K., U.A.E. and others have contributed to a disaster appeal, but more funds are needed. Pakistan's government is doing everything it can to help the art. Now on sports news, Belgian Pro League outfit KRC Genk have turned down overtures from local rivals Club Brugge for their star forward Paul Onwacho. Onwacho is desperate to leave Genk after making his mark at the club for the past two seasons. The 28-year-old netted 21 times for his club last season. The Lanky Hitman scored 33 goals in 38 league appearances in the previous campaign. Club Brug, after missing out on their top target, Rasmus Hojland, have shifted attention to Onwacho. And with that sports news, we conclude the news. But just remember, you can follow news and programs on ABS from any part of the world by liking our Facebook page at ABS Radio Television, Oka. Subscribe to our YouTube page at ABS Television, Oka. Follow us on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. And the main news again. Anambra State Governor Saludo has led delegation to Rome as Pope Francis creates Cardinal Obaleke. 43 newly promoted immigration officers in Anambra State Command have been decorated. INEC has fixed September 28 for commencement of campaign for 2023 general elections. And from the foreign scene, death toll in Pakistan flood has increased to over 1,000. And the special message again. Governor Chukoma Saludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra state economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the task ahead. And that's the news. We thank you so much for watching. My name is Nonye Mokoye. Good morning and have a great day.